Okay, you, you guys are looking at um, some fine young ladies up here that very rarely look like this. They're usually dirty and sweaty and would probably rather be that way. But they look really nice tonight. And as you're looking at them, I want you to notice there's uh, seven freshmen standing up here. Seven. That's very unusual. Very, very unusual. But, man, I love it. I love it. That means uh, they're coming back for three more years. Not only are there seven uh, freshmen standing up there, there's three sophomores. One junior, one senior, okay? And I'm trying to make a really big deal about this because it kind of goes back to what Coach Luna said earlier. It's really hard to win 20 games in a season. Uh, these young ladies won 24 games this season, uh, which for me, and I've been here a long time, 18 years, that's the second highest uh, wins we've had in a season since I've been here, which is huge. Huge. So uh, they've accomplished so much. Um, we've accomplished not only that, we uh, were the uh, champions of our own Caldwell tournament. Uh, we were third place at the Franklin tournament. And uh, we were co district champions for the first time in eight years. Uh, so that says tons, tons for these ladies. Um, we have so many accomplishments, and the great thing, like I said, we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Uh, we ended up tied with Rockdale uh, as co district champions, like I said, and we ended up having a playoff with them. Um, wasn't the greatest night for us. We ended up being the second place seed out of our district, which kind of put us um, going not the exact route that I wanted us to. We had to play a, a really tough team from uh, Waco Robinson uh, first round, um, and we were able to uh, play home and home against them. And uh, when we played them here at home, we were rolling. Rolling, 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 going to the fifth inning. We were up three to two. And uh, then, the, then the freshman jeans kind of started coming out. And uh, we had a bad inning. Uh, and uh, Waco got up on us uh, and, and ended up winning that game 10 to five. And then we went to their place the next day and lost. But even though we lost that game, we learned a lot from that game. Uh, I think we learned a whole lot from that game. And I think we'll be able to use that um, in the years to come. So these ladies have accomplished so much. And I am so, so very proud of them. Uh, a few other things I would like to say before I uh, give some uh, accolades to them. I'd like to thank the parents for being such good supporters for us this year. You travel to all those uh, cold, cold, cold tournaments uh, and, and sat out there. We at least got to play, but you had to sat out, sit out there and watch us play in those cold temperatures. Um, I'd also like to thank the Booster Club because you gave us something this year that, um, <laughs> wow. It, it saved a lot of our time, when I say our time, the coach's time. Uh, they brought a John Deere bunker rake, and for those of you that don't know that, it's to work on the field, and man, it made our life much easier. Uh, so I really thank the Booster Club for that. Um, I also really want to thank my assistant coaches, Coach Pittler and Coach Johnson. There's absolutely, positively no way I could have done what I did this year. Or we could not have done what we did this year without these two coaches. They were fantastic for us, and I'm, I was so excited to have both of them in the dugout with us this year. Um, I'm going to kind of go through, and like I said, I, I told them to get in number order, just because I, I think like that I'm kind of crazy. Uh, but um, we're going to start out with uh, freshman Kylie Johnson. Kylie Johnson played outfield for us this year, did a great job, and um, they don't know this yet because I haven't told them the academic all district, but uh, Kylie was um, academic all district for us this year. <laughs> then we have Gabby Martinez. Gabby Martinez is a sophomore. Gabby played second base for us. Uh, she was all tournament at the Franklin tournament. Uh, she was first team all district infielder. Uh, she was also academic all district. Uh, then we have Sierra Long. Um, a little, little bit about Sierra. Sierra, Sierra played um, JV all year, and then we got to the second half of the district, and I always like to have at least, you know, that one extra sub on the on the um, bench for us, so we moved her up, and she was able to play the second half with us, and then she also traveled with us um, for our uh, playoffs, because um, I know that Sierra's going to have a, a good shot at, at being up there and being on the field next year, so we really thank Sierra for all of her hard work. Next we have Casey Cowder. Casey Cowder is a freshman. Uh, Casey was our uh, number one pitcher this year. Uh, she played some third base for us too when she was not pitching. Uh, Casey was all tournament at the Caldwell tournament. Uh, she was the overall District 18 3A MVP as a freshman, which is a huge, huge, huge accomplishment. And she was also academic all district. 
Next we have Jordan Chan, freshman. Jordan played center field for us this year, did a great job for us. Speedy Gonzalez, number two, I have to say, because you had me Speedy number one. Um, did a great job for us um, in the outfield and run bases. And um, Jordan was uh, honorable mention for District 18-3A and also was academic all district. <laughs> Next we have Tara Espinosa, sophomore, first baseman. Uh, Tara really stepped it up this year from last year. Did a great job hitting for us. Um, you know, just just was a leader for us on, on the infield. And, and she always seemed to be the brunt of the bad hops every, every day in practice. So... Uh, you know, poor Tara, she got beat up a little bit, but hey, she's tough and she can handle it. Uh, Tara was honorable mention, uh, all district, and also academic all district. <laughs> Next, freshman, Courtney Gilbert. Uh, Courtney played outfield for us this year, stepped in and did a good job, did things when we needed her. Um, Courtney was also um, academic all district. <laughs> Next, we have our junior, Allie Brego. Um, Allie came in um, this year and did some fantastic things for us in right field. Uh, I can think in my mind several different times Allie made some fantastic catches in right field that saved uh, some runners from going in and kind of saved the game for us at certain times. So we're really proud of Allie and what she did for us. <laughs> then we have our lone senior, Macy Foster. Uh, Macy is our four-year letter winner. Uh, Macy has stuck it through thick and thin. Uh, previous years, many losses, um, but uh, I tell you what, man, Macy stuck stuck through it. Um, she did a did a great job for us this year. She was our shortstop. Um, it was definitely the the best year for Macy at uh, shortstop. Um, great defensive player, stepped in, and she was most of the year our number three hitter. Uh, did great things for us at the plate. Um, we're gonna really miss her. Um, it's gonna seem really weird not to see great uh, grandma. Grandma, Grandma, that's what they called her, Grandma, because she was old. You know, I got all these babies out there. So this, she was Grandma to everybody. We're going to miss her. She did wonderful things for us, and um, she's got a bright future ahead of her. Uh, Macy was voted first team all district infield, uh, and uh, she definitely deserved that. Uh, Macy was also um, uh, all tournament at the Franklin tournament this year. Then we have Caitlin Courtney, freshman, third baseman. Um, Caitlin was also um, our number two pitcher. She came in and did some pitching for us this year. Uh, Caitlin was um, all tournament at the Caldwell tournament, and uh, she was voted second team all district infield for our district, also academic all district. Wow. <laughs> and we got Blair Clayton, our catcher, freshman. I just kind of laugh when I say Blair because I just think of all the great cheers they, they do for her when she gets up to bat and all the fun things that we talk about pre-game sometimes. They're, they're interesting stories. You'll have to get with me sometime. I'll tell you about them. Uh, Blair did a great job behind the plate for us this year. Um, she was our one and only catcher, um, and that's a tough job. It's a tough, tough job to do, but she did a great job back there. Uh, she worked hard, and she would stay after practice every day and want to catch and do, do more and more and more every day to get better. And that's that's the kind of kid you want back there. Uh, Blair was all tournament at the Caldwell tournament. She was honorable mention for our district, and she was also academic all district. <laughs> then, um, like Coach Spittler said, Catherine Mendez, sophomore, uh, she started her year out on uh, JV. And then um, we moved her up because, like uh, Coach Spittler said, her bat was, was working. And when you got a bat that's working, I want it. Uh, so we moved her up, um, and uh, Catherine was our DP, designated player. Uh, did a fantastic job for us. Um, got a hit in all but one of the district games that she played in, which, which is a pretty good feat, uh, moving up from JV to do that. Um, Catherine was named first team all district designated player for our district and was also named Academic All District. <laughs> and then down there standing by Coach Spittler is my third assistant coach, Amber Mullenix. Um, Amber kept us smiling, kept us laughing. Uh, she, I mean, but she did the work, man. She did laundry, she got the field set up before the games. Uh, she chased every foul ball known to man. Uh, she was fantastic. I even got her to catch in for me. That's that's a sight to see. And she even did some base running one one day. So uh, anyway, we love Amber, and we're so happy that she was there to help us out and, and do what she did for us. <laughs>